Mazda's given its best-selling vehicle, the CX-5, just a little bit of attention for 2023. Let's get into the details. <laughs> We're over at the Mazda Media page to discuss the 2023 CX-5 updates, but before we get into it, my name is Kirk. If you're new, make sure you subscribe because I talk about all the details of Mazda on this channel, as well as all Japanese Korean cars, and don't miss out on my upcoming video, where does Mazda go from here? I just covered Honda and Acura. Uh, I just covered Kia, which that will be coming out soon as well. So a lot of fun stuff. I can't wait to do the Mazda version of it in the next week or two. So let's get into Mazda the CX-5 pricing and packaging for 2023. For the first time in the North American market, Mazda offers the Rhodium White Exterior Premium Paint option. That's going to cost you, by the way. We go down to the bottom, $595 for the Rhodium White. Machine Gray Premium uh, is $595 as well, and so is the Soul Red. To me, the Soul Red is Mazda's prop probably Mazda's best color. So I don't, I have no issues paying for 595 for the soul red, but for a white color, I don't know. I'd probably have to see it in person to, to be able to justify that extra uh, charge there. So this rhodium white paint color is a pure white inspired by Japanese aesthetics, finding beauty and simplicity. The paint's fine grain accentuates the shadows on the surface of the vehicle, complementing the CX-5 sculpted body lines. They have a few more sentences about the paint color, but that is enough for me. No surprise, Mazda iActive all-wheel drive is standard. It's standard on all their crossovers, except the MX-30, if you can call that a crossover, because that's front-wheel drive electric vehicle. Now, the 2023 CX-5 goes on sale at the starting MSRP of 26700 It will arrive at dealerships this fall. Now, they have also detailed the eight different trim levels for the CX-5, which is just mind-blowing how much, how many trim levels Mazda does. I don't know if it's profitable in the long run. I feel like the customer really only needs like three to four trim levels, but I guess when you have additional powertrains uh, like the turbo and the turbo signature, I guess it makes sense. If you missed my uh, video on the CX-5 for 2022, make sure to watch that. I did uh, review it. It really, nothing changed. It got 256 horsepower, so about six more horsepower. Torque remains the same on 93 octane for the turbo. An interesting thing about the turbo is that it gets like one or two worse miles per gallon than the naturally aspirated. So if you can afford the turbo, not only do you get like double the power in torque, you're going to get pretty much the same fuel economy, which is the way to go in my opinion. So what we're going to do is actually look at the pricing here and how it compares to the outgoing year. So we have 26.7 is where this vehicle starts, but keep in mind, we still have destination that you can't get out of. So if you're in anywhere other than Alaska, it's going to cost you $1,275 for destination. And ironically, it's pretty much the exact same as the CX-50 that's built here in Alabama. So I so, so I'm not in Alabama, but I say here because it's the United States. Destination fee is the same, which doesn't make any sense because they're shipping the vehicle across the Pacific Ocean and then putting it on the rail lines. Like how is the destination fee the same? Doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, here are the pricing of the, the eight different trim levels, but we're gonna head over to Motor One because they did a good job comparing the prices this year versus last year. And they're all about $500 more expensive. Well, it depends on which one you're looking at. The CX-5 entry level, the S, the 2.5 non-turbo is about $450 more expensive. S Select is $250 more. S Preferred is only $80 more. So S Carbon Edition. So the Carbon Edition is actually cheaper this time around, but Destination has got more expensive because if we look here, Destination was $12.25 last year. It's $12.70 now. So that pretty much washes uh, the Carbon Edition is the same price as last year. S Premium is actually cheaper as well by $260. But again, you just have a little bit more charge here. So S Premium, talking about value now, guys, the more expensive trims are getting cheaper somehow, some way, but the cheaper trims are getting more expensive based off this trend. However, if you look at the premium plus, it's gone up by 1200 bucks. What happened there? Doesn't seem like a good value anymore. Turbo, 2.5 turbo is only $100 more. I could live with that. And what about the top of line turbo signature? It is $650 more plus the 
$50 more or so for the destination. So cars continue to get more expensive. That's just the way of the world with supply chain disruptions and soaring raw material costs. What are we going to do about it? Well, just gonna have to pay more for things. I still love the CX-5. If you watch my review on it, I prefer it over the CX-50. The CX-50 is still a great vehicle. It's definitely more rugged. It feels way bigger to me when I drive. It feels like a boat. You also don't have the same amount of headroom, which is not great for tall people. If you're over six feet tall, uh, the CX-5 is gonna be better more than likely. The leg room is about the same in both vehicles. I think the shoulder shoulder width is actually better in the CX-50. It's a wider vehicle, but just want to do a quick update. If there's any more Mazda updates for the 2023 model years in terms of pricing or changes, I will update you guys on that. But thank you for watching. Definitely stay tuned for what's next for Mazda or where does Mazda go from here? I call it the same thing pretty much, but I'm gonna end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely stay tuned for more. Catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. Have a good day and peace out.